Where you at? Where you at? Where you been spending time? Got a man, I always hit you up, but you not around. I be your not a man, I'll hit you up on the phone. I'm head down to pick you up, baby girl, when you all alone. I want to call you up, but I can't do that shit. Come over here, baby. You the one I'm rolling with. You the one I'm fooling with. I spend the hours, a thousand flowers, and tuna fish. Baby girl, you the only one that I'm dealing with. I swear to God, the MC Hammer cut you too legit. I didn't know that you my mama, me, your baby girl. You picture perfect like the Mona Lisa. Take you out to France, do it a little dance. Telling me that you love me, you posting it on the gram. I didn't know that you my mama, me, your baby girl. You picture perfect like the Mona Lisa. Take you out to France, do it a little dance. Telling me that you love me, you posting it on the gram. Baby girl, I got plans for you. Yeah. Better yet, I made plans for two. Right. Take your time, let me admire you. And baby girl, we get it popping like we supposed to do. Uh, we can stop from the stairs, girl, I promise an hour. After we're done with your raise, we can jump in the shower. I tell the world that it's all, baby girl, that it's ours. Anything that you need in life, baby, I got you. Yeah. Baby girl, you the one, boo. Cause you the be the one when talking tough, I tell Allen Bernard International, or ABR, is a management consulting firm with a team of consultants and associates who focus on growing and transforming home healthcare agencies, nonprofits, and small businesses in other industries as well as individuals. Our services include ABR Business Support Services, ABR Accounting and Tax Services, and ABR Anti Money Laundering Compliance Services. At ABR, we bring to each assignment dedication and commitment, experience and skills, performance-based process, integrated solution teams, and client relations. For more inquiries on our services, call phone number 469-378-3955. That's Allen Bernard International, or ABR, transforming business through ideas. In order to keep ourselves and others safe from the coronavirus disease, we must all get vaccinated. Here are a few facts about the coronavirus vaccine. The vaccine does not have anything in it that can make you magnetic. All COVID-19 vaccines are free of matters. The COVID-19 vaccines available in the U.S. do not contain live virus. They do not share any of their parts inside or outside of your body. The vaccine is safe for current and future pregnancies. There is no proof showing unsafe results on taking the vaccine for current or future pregnancies, which means pregnant women can also take the vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine does not change your DNA. In fact, it has absolutely no interaction with your DNA. The vaccine does not cause you to test positive for the virus. It is untrue as none of the vaccine will cause you to test positive in a viral test. Therefore, the vaccine is safe to use. Get vaccinated today and stay alive. A message sponsored by the African Career Education and Resource Incorporated, or ASA, in the state of Minnesota. Pinto one of Delaware. Yes, it's Pinto One of Delaware, the name that counts when you talk quality painting works. For more than two decades, Pinto One has brought more life and vigor to thousands of residential and commercial complexes with our quality painting services. Give your homes, offices, bars, stores, hospitals, shops, etc. that look they deserve by choosing Pinto One of Delaware. For more information, call us on phone number 302 508-3034. Again, 302-508-3034. Or visit our website at pinterone.com slash Delaware. Or better still, email us on Ivan at pinterone.com or holly at pinterone.com. Schedule a free estimate and get 10% off by using the promo code Costa. Pinto One of Delaware, renew your space, renew your life.
We all know the headache we go through sending money to our loved ones, friends, and family in Liberia. High fees, long lines in banks, the usual complaint of the system being down, such a waste of time and energy. That is why I was very happy when I learned that SendWave is now in Liberia. So now I can send money anytime from anywhere directly from my smartphone to the MTM Loan Star Cell mobile money account of a loved one, friend or family within seconds for just a tiny fee. So download SendWave now to your phone from your Apple Store or Google Play Store, add your details and don't worry, they are very safe and secure and start sending money today. Don't forget to insert the promo code Costa to get free $5 credit added to your first transfer. SendWave is secure, super fast, and by far the most affordable way to send money to Liberia. I'm Henry P. Costa and a very happy customer. Thank you. Good morning, folks. Good morning, Bora. Yeah, good morning, Costa, and good morning to our many listeners. Uh, uh, we are back this morning after a long, long break. It's good to be here with you, Costa. It is. Um, how be it? We're having some technical issues. We're not using our regular um, streaming platform. Um, uh, and the, uh, the equipment that we use because... Uh, I'm having trouble with one of my Facebook accounts. Uh, so we're using, uh, you know, Zoom this morning, which is not what we normally use. So, and um, my Facebook, one of my Facebook accounts has been restricted. So I cannot do a lot of stuff right now. Now, please share the video for us. I can't even share the video. I can't even share the video. For those of you who can, please do share the video for us. I want to say good morning. Uh, good afternoon to all of you, wherever you are, wherever you're watching from. It's good to be here. Uh, we took a couple of days off. Um, and, and for those of you who follow the show on YouTube, because we're on six different platforms, Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, MindTuner, TuneIn, and then the website, six different platforms. That's how we come to you. Uh, somebody says, I look exhausted. No, I am not exhausted at, at all. I'm very well refreshed. Uh, and we're very glad to be here to serve you. We're not complaining at all. We took some time off. Um, our apologies. Uh, but we had to, we had to do that. So please help us share the video as we cannot even do that. Even on my other page, I can't, uh, you know, this is, this inconvenience is just going to be until the weekend. Then we're good. I think by Saturday. Yeah, the YouTube is not on. As I said, we will share the video to the YouTube after the show, but we can't go simultaneously the live on YouTube as we normally do. Uh, yeah. But what's up, Waka? So let's talk about how was the Ramadan celeb celebration? Yeah, it was okay. Thank God we uh, climaxed the month peacefully and uh, everything went well. Spent a day with uh, the family and that's just it. That's good. That's very good. Yeah. And of course, our COP folks did the same. Uh, we bought a, a, a very well-groomed cow and a cow and, uh, and, and bought some rice, I believe about 50 bags of rice. And we distributed it among our people. And uh, they had a good time, a jolly good time. Okay, so this morning we're here with a lot of in interesting developments that have happened in the country over the last um, four to eight hours. Now, folks, I've embarked, before we go any further, I just want to say congratulations to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Darius Lomax. Uh, we went to Minnesota to witness their nuptial ceremonies. And it was beautiful. Uh, Darius took the hand of Diana in a beautiful, colorful ceremony that took place in uh, Chaska, Minnesota. And uh, I had the privilege and honor to serve as the best man. And uh, 
So we had a great time. I want to say congratulations to them. I want to say uh, it was very nice meeting all the other wonderful people I had the opportunity to meet, most of whom for the first time, all the gentlemen with whom I stood I, as groomsmen. Very, very good. Now, a lot of hoopla going on in the country. Lots, a lot of hoopla, a lot of you, you, all over the place. Yeah. All over the place. Uh, now, folks, we have been following. Uh, so, JMB went to the court, Monroe River City Court, went there on Monday. Yeah. He was there on time. The state subpoenaed him to come and testify in a case, the ongoing case, ALP versus Unity, I mean, versus uh, ANC represented by and through the Republic of Liberia. So Joseph Yuman Boakai, former vice president, was subpoenaed to testify. The state subpoenaed him because he's he's knowledgeable of all of this. He's one of he was one of the political leaders in the CPP, and so they wanted him to come forward and and testify to what he knows. The YouTube will be up later on, folks. As I said, we have some technical issues. That's why we're using this platform to stream the show. We're not even using the YouTube, so we're we apologize. The YouTube video. The video from the show this morning will be posted on YouTube later on. Unfortunately, we cannot do the simulcast, which we normally do, because of the technical problem that we have. You understand? We're sorry for that, please. It's just going to be for a few days. You know, in, in fact, tomorrow is Friday, so by the time you look, uh, it's going to be okay. No, you can't ask the man whether Facebook is not enough. Some people don't watch on Facebook. Some people watch on YouTube. It's their preference. That's why we're on multiple platforms. So don't harass your friend when they complain about why their you know their their preference is is not working yeah so please be considerate thank you yeah so black guy um so as i was saying jmb went to the court on monday he couldn't testify because the chairperson of the national elections commission was supposed to be there david yeah. etta brown Center, and he wasn't there and I think they needed her to bring some documents or something like that. She she wasn't there. So they rescheduled JMB to Wednesday, which was yesterday. JMB showed up again, and she was there then, and she testified. A lot of interesting things. The court subpoenaed the neck to appear and to provide all the documents Mr. Cummings had filed with them when he served as chairperson of the CPP. The net brought those documents, Boakai. Have you seen those documents? I posted them. Yeah, 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 you posted them and I saw them. But the question here, Costa, the court uh, asked for the uh, original copy or the photocopy, which one? Because we have to make this clear. The court asked for the original document that Mr. Cummings filed. Okay. The, the net produced a photocopy. And the next thing, that is what Mr. Cummings filed with them. Okay. Wow. That's what he filed. Yes. Mr. Cummings filed a photocopy document. The next should not have accepted a photocopy, but they did. On so many levels, the neck blundered. You understand? So yeah. we, we will go further into that later on. But just a couple of other things. So one of, one of the things we're going to be talking about this morning is a new appointment at the, the LAA, the Liberia Airport Authority. Lots and lots and lots of people are already pissed. And Braga is understandable. Yeah. The, it has been a disaster of late. Mm -hmm. We were all hoping, whether you support the government or not, whether you're opposite or not, the airport is a concern to all of us, all Liberians. So all Liberians want somebody to take over the airport, the management of the airport, to turn things around. That not that all we all want, folks? That's what we want. That is all we all want. Whether you support the government, you don't support the government, we all want the airport, this 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 mess that's happening there to 
to come to an end. It is what we all want. So we all are waiting. Now we, we had heard the president was considering making an appointment. Bam, we are making an appointment. Yeah. Now everybody is looking into this guy who has been appointed. Darlington Conley is his name. I'm sure you have not or you haven't heard of him prior to his appointment, Walker, right? Had you? Did you hear of him? No, 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 not at all. I know the gentleman. I know him. I know Darlington, and uh, I know him from around. I, I run into him a few times. We've talked a few times, and uh, everybody is talking about this. I've received lots of calls, you know, and uh, it is a serious matter. It is a serious matter. The airport is not a joke, Boakai. What are you, when opposition go into the country, those who don't support the government, where, when they're coming from abroad, where do they, where, how, by what means do they enter the country? To the RIA. When citizens go into the country, by what means do they enter the country? The RIA. Thank you. Thank you. So the airport is extremely important to all of us. To those who support the government, and to those who don't support the government. So when the president makes an appointment, which is his right to do so, but the people have the right to scrutinize, yeah, to ask questions, to dig behind the individual that has been appointed. Most especially, Costa, when the, the, uh, the executive mansion come up with the main entire credential, posting it, like the main graduated from here, this, that, there haven't been such a thing happening with all the appointment made by the government and the president. I don't know why this time around. Walker, you are quite correct. Mm. The government never does that. Whenever the government appoints somebody to a job, mm -hmm. whenever the president makes an appointment, they never put the president's background. No. Nope. But you see why they did it this time. You know why they did it this time? Because the airport is so is is is, is has captivated the attention of the whole country. And even our international friends, the airport is a disaster. So now they want to convince us that the person the president has just appointed is qualified. He knows the job. This is what he's going to do there. So now this is what the executive manager posted on their page. And we have we have other things we want to talk about. Why? Okay? Well, right, I've been doing some investigation. I've gathered some facts. This Asla Mittal. An HPS hoopla mm. is going to be a disaster if the government does not fix it right now, Baka. And I will tell you why. Let's conclude the first one. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is going to be a serious disaster for the whole investment climate in the country and, and potent and possibly Asala Mittal is considering suing the government Liberia in London. But let's finish this one. Before we give you a gist of that, and we'll, we'll break that story later on, which is very, 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 very important. Now, to the appointed guy, Bwaka, Darlington Conley, as, as I've said, I know the guy. I know the gentleman. Uh, I will not say he's, he's a friend because he's not a friend, but I know the guy. I've run into him several times. Darlington Conley, according to the executive mansion, President Weah appoints new LAA manager. The president of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency Dr. George Weir, has appointed Mr. Darlington Carley as manager of the Liberia Airport Authority. Mr. Carley was appointed on Wednesday, May 4, 2022. The new LAA manager president works at Boeing. Look at that. President works at Boeing, America's leading aircraft manufacturer at, as avionics tech specialist manager. Managing all installation, inspection, tests, adjust, or repairs of avionics equipment such as radar, radio, nav nav navigation, missile control systems in aircraft or space vehicles. Let's start right there. Hmm. Let me read further. They say he works at Boeing. Where does he work, Boeing. 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 Boeing is the, the two biggest aircraft makers in the world. There's Boeing, which is an American company, and then there's Airbus, which is French. And they say this man works as Boeing at, at Boeing, 
and and he is a and he he he, he works there as an avionics tech specialist manager. He's managing all installation, inspection, tests, exhaust or repairs, avionics equipment such as radio, I mean radar, radio, navi navigation, missile control systems. Jesus Christ. They say that way the ball works. Wagai? Mm. Wagai. Yeah. Darlington Canley does not work at Boeing. Darlington Canley does not work at Boeing. Huh. You understand? I'm understanding. I'm listening. Darlington Conley is a young man. Nobody's here to, you know, nobody's trying to put him down or anything of the sort. But to lie that Darlington Conley works, hmm? Hmm. that Darlington Conley works at Boeing is a bloody lie. He does not work at Boeing. Who told them that Darlington works at Boeing? But Darlington may have presented his document to them, President uh, uh, Costa, and they, they know went about doing research. This is where now the <laughs> president should take action. What is yeah. serious? Mm. Darlington Kale is a good organist. I'm told he graduated from Cotton University in Liberia. <laughs> I'm told Darlington Kale went to a school here called um, Sokana Lake Community College. M MVDC, something like MVDC. It is an equivalent of a vocational school such as the MVDC. Mm -hmm. They do avionics maintenance. That Boeing, Boeing is headquartered in Washington State, I believe, Seattle or somewhere. That's where they are. Dino Kale does not work. Dino Kale live in Royal Philadelphia. Mm. No, no, nobody trying to put the young man down here. As I said, I know the young man, but don't lie. Dino Kale bought a Ford truck, pickup truck. Mm. He tows cars for a living. Mm. Listen, what does Dino Kale do? He towing vehicle, car. Dino Kale went to Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Yeah, he had a degree, yeah, he had a certificate. He got a certificate. Let MVDC. Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Of Maintenance. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Let MVDC. That way he went. When you go to MVDC, you don't like a Boeing to be manager at Boeing. So what I said, embarrassment, my brother, friends, and mentor, they have a better CEO. They're not embarrassment, but I'm talking about you. You don't embellish. The airport business is life and death for us. Yeah. Daniel Kale, after invited from this place in Philadelphia call the Aviation Institute of Maintenance, I got a certificate right here. His certificate. You want all publish it? We can publish his certificate. They what those guys that go to that school, they don't, they are not aircraft or aviation engineers. It's a certificate program like NVDC. You understand me? Yeah, mm -hmm. the man certificate, yeah, boy. Yeah, the man certificate. Eh? <laughs> this one you went to is in Philadelphia. Aviation Institute of Maintenance, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, blah, 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 blah. They are awarded it to him. Aviation Maintenance Technician. The men are technician. Airframe and power plant. The men can work in the airframe and the power plant. Technician. Mm. He graduated. They gave him the certificate on February 18, 2018. I have the certificate right here. February. 2018. Daniel Kale is a technician, eh? a mm -hmm. technician that works on airframe and power plant. After Brandon graduated from this vocational school, he bought a Ford pickup truck mm. and he started towing car. 
the big four thing, he Daniel tows cars. He tows vehicles. He hold your car from point A to point B in Philadelphia. That is all he does. Brother, are you hearing what I'm talking? I'm hearing you loud and clear. He tows cars. He bought one. He had never worked in the field. Say he got a certificate. He got a four, I think it's a four two, 250 or four 150 pickup truck, and he hauled in people cars. That was Darren Dow Carly Dawes for a living. Someone said four three fifty. I don't know what kind of three, well, I don't know about four three fifty. I know they got one fifty and two two fifty. I don't know about the three fifty. But I can tell you this much: I know Darren Dow when he graduated with a certificate in February, he has never worked on airplane since he graduated with this with this certificate. Mm -hmm. He has never worked on airplane since he graduated with this certificate. Why? Hmm. Are you listening to me, my people? Mm -hmm. My people, Dan Don Kale is a good organist. Dan Don Kale is a good MC. When you bring Dan Don Kale to your program, your wedding, or your birthday party, or baby shower, he will do a great job. Yeah, but somebody just told me in Costa that they were working at the Liberty Radio here in Liberia. Thank you. Daniel Don Kale can talk can talk uh, for a living. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That good job, that decent job. And I say a bad job, but he is not working for Boeing. How the hell can you lie? That the man works for Boeing, the largest aircraft manufacturer in the world. You say the man working for Boeing. We know Liberians who work for Boeing who are engineers. The airport does not need an engineer. You know what the airport needs? It needs a manager. Technocrat. Somebody who has experience in managing or running an airport. Yeah. Darlington Kale is a car tow. He can tow a car. Your car breaks down. You call him. Darlington, my car broke down the wood there. I won't go to Upper Derby. Can't tow me. He will bring a four pickup. He told you and carry you. That is not. I have my baby, my, my, my baby shower. Can't perform, can't be the MC. That is will come, he will make fun, everybody will laugh. That is not. I need an organist. I get him married. Can't play the organ. That is all, can't play the organ. That's what he does in America, Waka. <laughs> <laughs> that is what Darlington Kelly does in America. He ain't not a gene thing, the government man can say. He ain't not a gene thing about when you're on airplane. He got an MVTC certificate, the equivalent of an MVTC certificate that the one Darlington Kale got. If Allah let me die. So everybody know that you don't call it. That's a home man. What that? That's a home man. That's somebody we know. You can't come to the airport, you turn it over. So, 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 so. That's a home man. You can't do this. No. So we are you got to send that in the somewhere else. I said that I don't know Bobo. I said that I don't know Bobo. But that MVDC certificate that I don't get does not qualify him to run an airport. And to lie. And to lie that Darling don't work for Boeing. You think that small man can. If Darling don't have a job at Boeing, if John Weir is playing, he will cost John Weir. Listen to me. Listen to me. Boeing. Do you know how much a Boeing manager makes? Let me Google it. Boeing, Buckeye, Boeing. Do you know how much a manager? Let me say, Boeing manager, according to the salary for people who work at Boeing. Buckeye, hmm. listen to you. And I say, the man managing, the man working at Boeing, Boeing yeah. manager salary. They make, according to Glassdoor, a company that collects data on salaries and stuff, a manager, a typical manager, at Boeing makes one hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars a year. Damn it! A typical manager. Now I say big town manager. That typical manager at Boeing makes one hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars a year. So you telling me that Daniel Carter who living in Philadelphia towing car 
He left in Philadelphia towing car with a Ford 150 pickup. That he the one making one hundred and seven thousand dollars boy up, and then, then you will leave it and go on way to the airport in Liberia. Airport, airport. airport. <laughs> why, why you lie to that? The airport building is dear to our heart. Mm. What are you? See, John, what are you? What, what, what are you? Government supporter? The airport is dear to our heart. So don't come say that is not our man. I will not. I will not lie and say I know him. You go to a wedding when I bought it, the Marvel Marvel phone bought guy. He's a good MC. He will make everybody laugh that guts out. You understand me? You go to funeral, he dead. You go to party, he dead. The man either play the organ or he's the MC. MC. That Danny John Kane is the one to go be the Apple manning manning job. The Bamu towing car with a 4150 pickup. Say you got that MVDC certificate on February 18, 2018. That boy was lying. If I lie, let me die. That boy, he never went to know where before let alone boy. How did they were lie? They go on the executive mansion page and say Darlington Kelly working to boy as a manager. So you think MVDC certificate can make you work to boy as a manager? You boy? Nope. What are you say is this so? So now, Costa, my question is, uh, who should be blamed for such action? Because John, we are dare you revoke this damn appointment now. Revoke it. Withdraw this appointment. Dido can give him job somewhere else. He cannot be our Apple boss. Go ahead, Baga. You want to say something? Yeah, yeah the, the, and I, I strongly believe that the president will take action. M the action shouldn't just stop on Darlington. It should also go to the people that did a research on Darlington. When Darlington presented his... his uh, Who recommended him? Mm. Who recommended him? Why did do vetting, Waka? I don't think so. There's something called vetting, Waka. Mm -hmm. Before the president of the republic appoints you, yes. there's something called vetting. Yeah, that's the play I'm driving at. There's something called vetting. Who vetted Andrew Kelly? Fine. Who presented his name to the president? Who lied and embellished his resume? Mm -hmm. Who all in your money and they talk about he works a Boeing? They bought drive, they bought towing car in Philadelphia. They say working a Boeing. You know what Boeing is, my picking? Boeing got a headquarters in Washington State. I think Seattle. They bought right in so oh wait, they got Boeing right in Philadelphia, right? Mm. I mean, I know I know all the apples around. Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There's a Liberian guy I know. He's a friend of mine. So say I'm being biased or whatever, but let me just say this. But we are very proud of him. Alaric Riches. Alaric Riches used to be in Liberia. He used to work in the bank. He worked for second for years, then he went to the bank. I don't know which bank Larry Richard worked for. Let's see you all. Larry Richards. Larry Richards came for this company. He worked for Santander Bank for a while. A good friend of mine. We don't see each other as much, but he's a good friend. Larry is a, is a very good friend of mine. Larry Richards came for this country. He worked here a little bit in the banking sector. Santander Bank. When well, he was staying in Philadelphia. Alara realized that the banking sector doesn't really pay much. You know what Alara Richards did? Alara Richards was in school. He went and got a master's degree, like I'm doing now. Alara started working at the airport at Philadelphia for American Airlines. Alara has worked his way up the ladder until today, Alara is a manager at Pittman Airport. Alara is working in Washington, D.C. now. The, the sector that Alaric manages, eh? mm. Alaric is receiving anywhere between 20 to 35 planes every freaking day. Mm. Alaric receives how many flights a day? Three, four, five? Five. Alaric Richards controls three, I mean, 20 to 35 flights. We'll bring Alaric on just so Alaric can tell us what it is and how it is to run a section of an airport. So then a section of the airport that Alaric Richards is running is about 
is, is, is doing about five, six times the volume of, of flights that IRA is doing. So you want to know that's it? Alaya is a manager just on a section, a section of the airport. And I say the whole airport, I say Alaya is a manager eh, for a section of the airport. If you want to go look him up, his Facebook name is Leto Leto. L-R-T-T-O, L-R-T-T-O, double, Leto Leto. L-R-T-T-O, L-R-T-T-O. Alaya Regis is a gate unit manager. You know what they call gate unit manager, black guy? No. Your, your gate is gate D. All the, all the flights that take off from that whole area, Alaya is a manager at American Air Airlines. You hear what I say? Mm -hmm. Gate unit manager. That whole area. Right now, Alaya got about 20 to 35 flights. 20 to 35 flights. All of him. One guy. Wow. You know, hmm. The job that Alara Richard does. So you leave people like Alara Riches who are actually working in managing all the people that he the boss man for, for demo. You know what I say? The job made Alara move to DC. We can even see our man. Yeah, Alara Riches here. Yeah, Alara yeah, there. Go on the map page. You will see the man. And you look at my city here, Alara, suppose John, John, we are too. So Alara always is wrong. Because I want to see this nigga in point, right? Yeah. Alara is not always to the government. Alara Riches manages a whole young yeah, mayor that they made to this side, the first king guy. That our other librarian brother there, CC. You see it? You see? This is what Alara Riches does, Waka. Hmm. This is a sector the man works in. He is a manager. A manager. Then you leave it. You go hire our man who doing tow, tow truck business to go to the airport. What guy? You hire the man doing tow truck business to go be manager to the airport. Then you got Ophi Bright. Ophi Bright. He's the brother of Mrs. May Yue. Ophi Bright, <laughs> Ophi Brepa, he hired an Alaric. <laughs> Alaric, I will tell you that. Ophi Bright is an aircraft engineer. Hmm. But he's on the engineering side. Alaric is on the management side, right? Ophi yeah. Bright has been working with uh, United Airlines for many years. An aircraft engineer, Ophi Bright. We're not talking about Black Arrow. Then you take Dayton Kale, who will play piano to the wedding day now? Who will see to baby shower now? Who will make her laugh when we go to birthday parties again? You take our MC, our baby shower and wedding organist, and you appoint him as LAA boss. They say, yeah, no. Now we turn to the Senate. You cannot let this man pass. Dianton Kale, I say he not no book. That's not what I said. But Dianton Kale lied. Because just the fact that they will lie to the nation that this boy works for Boeing. Because you know what he means to work for Boeing as a manager? So you want to say that boy, yeah, he working in Philadelphia towing car, so that Boeing, so Boeing in the towing car business now, boy guy? Yeah, well, constant. Maybe the man who presented a document that he working to Boeing. That's why the people posted. That's the so problem. Boeing doing to the car with F with F one for the truck. You won't get job. You can look at people like Alaya Reyes or people like Ophi Bright. You know how many other Liberians work in our industry? This thing is nonsense, man. Shame on the government. Shame on you. Shame on you that you will do that kind of nonsense to us. You better withdraw that nomination. You know what that Jawia are? Yeah? Why right, you think I'm gonna call Jawia yeah, and, and tell him? I didn't know because any line open now, and who's supposed to talk? Yeah, yeah, you need to call a man. I need to call a man, tell him, man, say, I know Darling Kali. Yeah. I need to call Jawia, my brother, what you say? Should I call him? 
Corre, corre, eternamente, Brasil. Tell him, Mr. President, this appointment is bad. Then we can nominate other people then. Ophi mm -hmm. Bright, Alaro Riches, other competent like, like our government, and tell them, they want you bad. They want you too bad. That the airport you're talking about, that's so. They're making mockery of us all over the place. You saw the video for that guy, mock news, the video that I posted, the guy took the video, the guy went to Europe. You saw the guy? Yeah. Mock news, the men laughing at Liberia at our airport, making mockery of us all over the place. Yeah, this is course, bad. Of course, that's what's happening. So the men is the, it, that, that just the reality. We are suffering, our airport is a mess. All over in West Africa, we have become the least when it comes to the airport, Liberia is the least. So we can just say the man is mocking. That's the reality, Costa. It's happening. It's glaring. People are seeing it. So that's why the man, you know, kind of making jokes. This, 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 this is wrong. It's shameful. And it, it's wrong. But look at, look, but look at the CV. They put, they put the guy up, okay? Look at the CV. How they lied. How they, how they lied. The way they lied. Now we're going to move on to something else here. And we're not going to stop talking about this. They need to withdraw this man's nomination. Withdraw this man's nomination now. Let's move on to something else, Waka. Mm. You know, we've told you here many times, we're not fans of Asilo Mita. The record will show. But Bwakai, the game that our government is playing will embarrass us as a country. When you take money from this company, you go to the other, the other company, you take money. Then you put us in a situation where the people are threatening that they could take us to arbitration. You know what arbitration is, Bwakai? You, you're a football fan when they say arbitration. To take us to arbitration to court in London for what we're doing. Not because we signed a deal. No, no, no. Not because of the, of the deal. Wakai, I've gathered so much information and we'll break this later on, but I just want to give you a gist of it. Do you know when Asila came to Liberia? Now, I didn't know some of these things. The first agreement Judy Bryan made with them, when Ellen King, she reviewed the contract. I'm aware. We're all aware. Mm. The railroad that we say is ours, which is ours, it belongs to Liberia. Yeah. You, you know who rebuilt the railroad, Barkay? No. Did Liberia rebuild a railroad? I don't think so. I still have built the, rebuild the railroad. The railroad was messed up. In the contract, they said, okay, you have 25 years. We will give you the entire 25 years because you're spending $500 million to build the railroad. That's what the city spent. So we'll give you the railroad exclusive right to the railroad and to the port for 25 years. Let's see, old Buckeye. Mm. They built the railroad. They have nine years on their contract left. Now, should the railroad be exclusively controlled by one company? No. No. But you who built, for example, brother, you come to my land. You lease the land, you build a house there for 25 years. Who's going to live in a house for 25 years? You. I mean, I mean I, you know, build a, uh, build a house and do a service on the land. 25 years. You, you build a house. Yeah. yeah. Other players want to, you know, I didn't even know that the HPX that the government took the 10 billion from. What guy? Do you, did you know HPX has no mining interest, does not want any iron ore mine in Liberia? Did you know this? Oh, wow. I didn't know. HPX has a piece of the Samedu mountain across the border in Guinea. You know the Nima Range? The Nima Range is both. Nima hmm. is in Nima and the other part is in what? Guinea. Hmm. The part is in Guinea, they call it Sam Samedu. 
Now, the I.O. the I.O. in Guinea, I don't know why, but the I.O. in Guinea is the best, one of the best in the world. I don't know why our I.O. is not so good, but the I.O. in Guinea is one of the best I.O.s in the world, the best grade, one of the best grades in the world. So, let's go by HPX mm. is the story of the angel you, 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 you don't know versus the devil you know. Let's put it that way. HPS has a $2 billion concession with the Guinean government. $2 billion. HPS is not doing I.O. business in Liberia, does not want to do I.O. business in, Li in Liberia. Do you know what their interest is, Bagai? No. That $2 billion concession that HPS has, that, that I.O. Uh, right, the, the, the mining rights they have to the piece of the Samedu Mountain, yeah. They want to flip it to a foreign company and make billions and walk away. Ah, but Mama, because, because because Nima, he says that Guinea has the largest part of the or the larger because it's between the two countries. So Guinea has the larger part of the mountain. Liberia has the smaller part. The Nima Range, mm. one part of it is in Guinea and the other part is in Liberia. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so on, the, on the Guinea side, that's where that, that one of the highest grades of iron ore is in the world. I think they call it grade triple A, triple, triple A, triple A or grade A or something like that. Let's go. HPS secure that piece of the iron ore mountain for two billion. They want to flip it. They want to flip it. But to flip it, you know what flipping is, right? One small co one company gets it. And they flew to another company and walk away with money. They want to flip it. But here's why they can't flip it. Why? To flip it, HPS will need, whoever they flip it to, will need a means of transport of the oil. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. They can't carry the oil to Guinea because the port, I mean, the port is in Conakry. They can't move the oil from the Liberian border all the way. To Conakry. Conakry is the distance. And there is no railroad, and they can't carry by a road. So nobody wants, nobody wants to buy that, that to buy HPS out of that, their $2 billion uh, 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 holding they have, unless they find an alternative. How to an alternative. Yeah, how to transport the iron ore. Brother, you got it. So now, SPS are not coming to Liberia because they want to do iron ore business. SPS is only coming to Liberia and interfering with all the things they're doing. The 10 million they brought by road and gave it to the government to sign that secret deal on March the 30th is because SPS wants to have control of our rail so that when they flip the iron ore mine they got in Guinea. They're going to show this agreement they signed with the government secretly. They signed on the 30th of March. Is what they're going to present to the lot to the company and say, "Hey, look at, we just secure exclusive rights to the rail in like in like in like in Liberia. You know what they call a sweetener? Mm -hmm. You want to sell a car to somebody? You say, my man, the car. I got brand new spare spare tires for it. I got a jack. I got it on. I got it on. And a sweetener. So HPS is not in Liberia to help Liberia." HPS only wants access to our rail and the port so that they can flip the iron ore project they got in Guinea. Now, let's see this, Morgan. HPS brings $10 million to the government under the cover of darkness by road from Guinea. Secretly, the government signs a deal with HPS for $10 million in cash that they brought. We don't even know where they put the money. What did they put in the budget? Where, where, where would they put it? We don't know. But guess what, I'm black guy? Azula Media has nine years left on their concession agreement. Nine years. Nine years. All of those nine years, the, the remaining nine years, <laughs> Liberia is a poor year. <laughs> black guy, what are we? We are the poor in the game. Mm -hmm. We deal with our government is behaving stupidly. They think they are smart because of small money business. But we are we are the point again. HPS is not bringing job to Liberia. Hello, black guy. HPS will not bring one single job to like to Liberia. 
HPS only wants our rail and our port so that they can show it to whoever they're selling their, their they're flipping their, their, their holding right store in that piece of the Samadu project so they can flip it and make billions of dollars and go and, and, and go. They have no interest in, Li in Liberia. Our government has taken $10 million from them. They signed two agreements for the same thing. I built a house on your land. I'm supposed to live in the house for 25 years. I have nine years left, Bwaka. Mm. You go, you sign another agreement with somebody else for the same house to allow them to move into the house while I still have nine years left. The problem the government faces is this. You've taken the $10 million from HPX. You've also com committed yourself to Asila, which you have not ratified their extension deal. Asila had exclusive right for 25 years to the rail and to the port because they built it or they rebuilt it. Now they have nine years left. The nine years they have left, they still have absolute control of the rail and the port for nine years. But Asila had agreed Asilo had agreed that since you say you want us to give use of rights to other people in order for you to extend our concession by 15 years, mm -hmm. we will do it. Because Asilo wants the extension. Of course, you know, the one that said, who doesn't want extension of their concession deal? So the government requested that Asilo should water it down or should dilute their absolute exclusive control of the rail and the port so that other companies may come in and have access to the port, which is a good, which is a good thing. You and I don't want Asila Metal to have exclusive control of the rail and the port. But yeah, yeah. Who built the rail? Asila Metal. They built the rail. Well, what you like or not? If you lease a vacant land to me and I build a house on it, I'm supposed to live in it for 25 years. Can you come post somebody else in a house? No, you have to be there for that 25 years. When they have anyone lease land, don't store on it for 25, 30, 50 years. Can you go down there and say, let me bring somebody else that can live in a, in, a, in a store with you? No. I still have built the rail. The rail is ours because it's not for them, but they have exclusive rail because they built it. Now, if the Asura Metal deal had passed, why are we all are saying we didn't want a deal, right? Now, us didn't say I didn't want a deal. We didn't say we didn't want a deal. We said we did not want Asila to control the rail and the port exclusively. That was, that was it should be done by the government. Thank you. That's what we said. We said we don't want Asila to control the rail and the port exclusively. We want the government to control it or a third party company to be brought in to manage the rail and the port. And Asila and the other companies can have use of rights. Listen, you know, guy. Mm. Listen, you know, guy. Guess what the government has done, guy? Guess what they've done? Asila had agreed if you extend our deal by 15 years, we will give up our exclusive control rights to the, to the rail and the, to the port. Yeah. You know, there's something in a negotiation con concession. You, you make a concession, I make a concession. Like give and take. So, mm. now, if they have signed a new deal, you see, my, my brother, Albert Blesser, is from Guinea. So he knows a lot of things. Albert Blesser is in, not from Guinea, from Nimba. He's a son of, he's a, he does, he's a son of Nimba. He, he knows a lot of stuff about it. Listen, Mubaka, if the deal had been signed, the Asila deal, you know the benefit we would have gotten? Asila would have up their exclusive right and, and exclusive control of the rail and the port. That way, other companies would have entered. Our government didn't sign the Asila deal. When they didn't sign the Asila deal, which we all were saying, don't sign the deal as is, and we're still saying the same thing, don't sign it as is, but the deal says Asila will give up. The modified deal says Asila will give up the exclusive right and exclusive control of the rail in order that other players can come and use the rail and pay Liberia money. We didn't sign the deal. What happens? I still only got nine years left because the new deal was not signed. The government signed it, but once the legislature didn't ratify it, 
the deal was not signed. The deal is not in, in effect. So what does that mean, Wakai? It means for the nine remaining years of Asila's 25-year concession agreement, they still control the rail and the port exclusively. And does that make sense, Wakai? Mm -hmm. Because if we had done the new deal, Asila would have given up the exclusive control of the rail and the port. That was something they gave in exchange, in exchange for their extension. extension. But a new deal was not signed. My brother, are you, wait, let me tell you why, let me tell you the area where I'm going, where Asila is threatening to sue the Liberian government. And, we, and if they sue us, we will lose. And I will tell you why. Say the new deal was not signed, what happens? Asila still controls the rail and the port exclusively. Yeah. For Can any have access to the rail and the port now? No, until now, yeah, now, yes. Ah, you understand the thing, Bwaka. So until a new deal, right now, let's say you don't sign Asila new new deal. Hmm. You don't sign a deal. And and, and it will not put food on my table, it will not put food on your table. You don't sign a new new deal, but guess what? Hmm. For the nine years remaining, Liberia does not have access, or other companies will not have access to the rail and to the port. So here's what Asila is doing. Asila is saying, since you didn't sign, you didn't go through with the ratification of our new deal, you've gone ahead and signed another deal with HPS, and they give you $10 million. We're going to take you to arbitration. In London, hmm. because nobody else has the right to that rail and to that port other than Asila, because they rebuilt the rail and rebuilt the port. Now, you cannot have an existing deal that is not modified and you sign a new deal. I can lease my house to Bwaga for 25 years, and while Bwaga still has nine years left on that lease agreement, then I sign another lease with, her, with, 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 with Paul to move in the same house. You see what the government has done? I should agree first and allow that person before they get into that house that you have leased from me for the last 25 years. You know, I hold 25 year lease on the house. Yeah. And my lease has not expired. Mm -hmm. But what? Do you think the government doesn't know what they're doing? How can you well, can forget about Asila, forget about whatever? Look at the, the implications for the country. How can anybody come to Liberia and seriously come to Liberia and want to invest when the government will sign two deals for one asset? Why still lives in the house for 25 years? He has nine more years left. You sign a second deal. Now, get ready, Bwaga. Asila Mita is about to take us to court in London for arbitration. Arbitration. Now, Asila has said, if anybody comes to that rail, we're suing the government. You see the area where my concern is? Asila has threatened, if you touch that rail, fine, you will sign our new deal. Fine. You do the extension, fine. But then, we go back to what? Status quo ante, which means I still have nine years left. And during those nine years, I still have what? Exclusive control of the rail. So that means the deal that the government signed with HPS and the Nakadimus Lake brought the $10 million and gave it to George Weir them. What happens to that deal? That deal cannot be enforced. Because the only way anybody else can use the rail is unless Asilamita gives up their exclusive right or control of the rail and the port. And that is what I want. I don't want Asilamita or any company for that matter to have exclusive right and control of any asset which they, they, they may have built with their own money, which in this case is the which is the case with this rail and the port, but still, Bwakai, I rather an independent company set up managing the rail eh? and mm. reporting to the government 
rather than one of the users being the controller. But the problem here is, poor guy, I just found out that HPS doesn't care about Liberia. HPS doesn't have any money rising in Liberia. HPS does not want any money rising in Liberia. HPS only wants to have the rail and the port so that they can take that and add it to their concession agreement for the Samadu project they have in Guinea and flip it. Because nobody will buy them out of their rights to the Samadu project in Guinea if they do not have a guaranteed means of transport. How do you transport the O? This is 419, folks. This is on the government of Liberia. You don't sign two deals for one asset. John Brown still has the asset, then you sign a deal with somebody else for the same asset? Because of $10 million. When Asila Mita takes us to court, Bwakai, I want you to listen to this. Mm. When Asila Mita takes us to court, I, Henry Costa, will support Asila Mita's case against the government of Liberia. I want it to be on record. When Asila Mita takes us to court, I will support Asila Mita 100%. The government, when they win us, we are a people, we are Miguel and Tue, they will pay. Because library, I want you to pay. I cannot have an asset. You can't flip two as a one asset to two companies at the same time, bro. Guy. Nobody does that. Mm -hmm. I still control the asset. I still have nine years left on my lease agreement. We have an opportunity here, Bokai. We all say, modify the agreement. We don't want the agreement as is. And we, we, we maintain our position. Asala Mita, even the American ambassador said it. Do the deal, but do not let them have access, I mean, absolute control over the port and the rail. Didn't we read that yet? Yeah. The American ambassador said it. Do the deal. The new deal will create 3,000 additional jobs. The new deal will create more opp opportunities. Fine. But do not let them have continued exclusive control over the rail and over the port. We said that. Asila agreed and gave it up. Then at the 11th hour, you sign a secret $10 million deal with HPS. Is a devil you know versus the injury you don't know? Do we have legitimate problems with Asila Mita? 100% legitimate problems. Go to the concession area. Are there troubles there with the local people? 100%. Is there yeah. a problem possible contamination on the water and all that kind of thing? 100 percent Yes. Is there a lot of room for improvement? 100 percent Should they hire more Liberians in top management positions as the concession agreement as the MDA calls for? 100 percent But should our government, what I don't want you to know that our government and all, I'm not even talking about HPS. I don't blame HPS. But I got <laughs> I don't blame HPS. Did HPS force our government to take the money? No, the government requested for it. Why would our government be signing two different deals for, for, for an asset that another company already con con controls? You leave me living in a house. I stay get nine years left on that lease agreement. Then you go, you sign an agreement with somebody else for that same house. You think I'm going to move in our house, boy? No. That's, you see, you see my problem? That's what my issue is. That's what my issue is. You don't want to sign Asila Mita new agreement? That's your business. And that they're right, Baka, they don't want to sign it. That's their business. My issue is you cannot leave Asila Mita still in control of the rail and go and sign a second agreement with somebody else for the same rail. That's my problem, Baka. You want to let others 
use the rail, then let the nine years expire. Because whether you like it or not, the agreement is the agreement. They still have nine years left. They say the only way we can allow others to use a rail is unless you extend our deal. You don't want to extend the deal, fine. But guess what? Let me complete my nine years. There you go, you sign a deal for 10 million. Pokai? Pokai, it's just brought the money to Guinea by road. $10 million in cash. Where do you think they carry that money, Pokai? Should the Joya and McGill office directly? You think they carry this? No, no, Brian, they carry the central bank. When they brought it that day, they call the press people. Brian, you were there too when they carry the money. You were not there. No, Brian, they ain't carrying money. No, there's no central bank. Brian, was serious, my man. We're talking $10 million in cash. You think they no carry that money to bank? Oh, wow. They never carry that money to no bank. I swear, no boys never carry that money to no bank. But why not? They take that kind of money, which we know they will not use it for the benefit of the Liberian people. Then they sign a deal that possibly the country could get sued for. You give me a land for 25 years. I've lived there for, 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 for 11 years. No, not for 11 years. I've lived there for 16 years. I got nine more years to go. Then you leave me living in the house, then you go lease the house or somebody else. This is 419 behavior. And then we eat the money. We eat some other money. But you saw it in the in the budget. Did they never know the money? No. Mm -mm. Okay. They now make pronouncement. Or they make pronouncement of the government like you know, signed a deal with HPS. What? That was all. That all they did. Yeah. Chris Capo. Boom. As agreement, fine. I don't care. But you should not sign two agreements for one asset, especially an asset that another company already manages and controls. They will sue the country. Hmm. When they sue the country, the country will, will it will be Bokai, you know what it means when they sue your country, Bokai. Listen, you know, you know what I mean when they sue your country because your country leaves one asset to John Brown, then it turn around and leaves it to Paul. You think other investors will see that and want to come to the country? No. Nobody want to come to the country to do business. But there's something in there's a there's a phrase called security of tenure. You know what security of tenure means? It means when you give me five years in your country to do business, no five years I'm there for. The laws of your country must protect me, must back me. You understand me? Mm. It must protect me, it must back me. Security of tenure. That's what, that, that's what it means. Now, you go, you do 419 business. Folks, the thing is embarrassing. I don't know whether you all seen it. You, you're not seeing the point. Well, I am not, I don't care whether they extend the Asila deal or not. That is not my point. My point is, if you don't extend the deal, it means Asila still controls the rail and the port for nine years. You cannot at the same time go and sign another deal. It's 419 behavior. It is a 419 behavior by the, by the government. Bravo. You go to Liberia. They gave you a piece of land for 25 years to build a farm or no, I mean to build a store or something. Or school or something. And you still got nine years left. And while you got nine years left, then your, your grandchild, your landlord, goes and signs another lease agreement for the same land you got. Dwalu. The same land you got. The same land you got. This is what the government did. The same land you got, they signed another deal for the same land. Why are you still sitting on it? Bwaka, let's go to the lines and take some calls. This is for one. Look, Bwaka, let me tell you something. I hate to say this, right, Bwaka? I'm not a fan of Ellie, and you all know that. At least that's one thing you will never accuse me of, that I support Ellie or I'm a fan of Ellie or that I might support Ellie. But Bwaka, to be honest, 
They are not one year. We don't see any time of Bakai. Where government was signed two different agreements for where they will take money for. So, Bakai, do, do you know that when the government signed that Asylum Metal deal, there was a 30 million signature bonus? Now, I, I need to find this out. I don't know whether they've already given the 30 million. Do you think they've given, they've given the 30 million? The signature bonus? Mm. We need to find out. Need when to they signed. Government. There was a 10 million signature bonus from Asylum Mita. I want to know whether they've collected it. I heard they collected it, but I'm not sure. But we need to find out. So, so now we 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 sign deals and we collect signature bonuses and then we and then we walk back on the deal and then we go and sign another deal with somebody else. But I, let, let, let's be fair. If somebody does this to you, it's just unfair. They take your money. Mm. Somebody rent a house from you. I mean, you you rent a house from somebody. They 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 collect the rental money, and then they, and then before you even move in the house, they go and sign another agreement with somebody else for the same house. Talking, okay. yeah. This is what happens when absolute criminals and jokers are in power. This is what you get. So, Asila Mita is going to go to court in London. I'm going to be supporting them. So don't be surprised, yeah? I will support them. If they will bank rob Li Liberia to pay them, fine. And the government we got, that the government we should, we should, we should do it. That the government we should do it. Let them get all the sewers. Ah. Somebody get some of your message. They said HBS has one of their subsidiaries. Oh, Ivanhoe. But you remember the receipt that we had the other day? Mm -hmm. For $500,000, they paid to the Speaker of the House. Yeah. You remember that receipt? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. So it's the HPX office on 9th Street. They are paid right around what they call a Shatan nightclub. They paid $500,000 to Buffer Chimas for legislative activities. You, you remember? We had a receipt. Yeah. Oh. Five hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Yes, I see. Now I see. So Ivanhoe, the company Ivanhoe, I V A N H O L E, Ivanhoe. They pay we from base Africa published they received that time five hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand U.S. to the legislature, and then. They did on the receipt right after they paid them, and a couple of days later, March 30th, the government signed a deal with HPX. 500,000 US dollars. They call it, they say for legislative, for legislative activities. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Well, okay, let's take some calls there. This is just embarrassing. It is just embarrassing. Again, we go back to the other talking point, the main talking point this morning. The president must recall or withdraw the nomination of Darlington Conley. He must. People say, oh, because he's a citizen. No, we don't care whether he's a citizen. He is a Liberian citizen. But the issue is that Brother Conley is not qualified. Why? Brother Conley is not qualified. He is not qualified. It is as simple as that. JMB went to testify, Bogart, before we take some calls there, right? We, we got some time. J, JMB went to the court on Monday. They said they were not ready because the chairperson of the neck was not there. JMB went back on Wednesday. They said they were not ready. But the neck chairperson was there. At the trial, the court had previously requested from the National Elections Commission, the document that Ellis Cummings sub submitted. This is what Cummings submitted. The documents were provided by the National Elections Commission. I published them, others published them on social media. They're making rounds all over on Facebook. But let me just highlight this. Cummings submitted the framework agreement on July 10th, 2020. The document was received by a Tutu Johnson. You know how when you submit, when you 
when you take a document to a letter or a document to an office office the yeah people, the people who receive right. it is signed. Mm -hmm. the document was received by tutu johnson on july 10th 2020 at 2 30 p.m they received the document now the notary certificate that was on the document attached to the document it's a legal document they have to be attached it has to have a notary certificate for you to so for you to submit it. The notary certificate is dated July 14, 2020. Okay. The notary certificate, the date, the, the date of the letter is July 10. Right? Mm -hmm. July 10, they submitted the letter at 2:30 p.m. Then the notary certificate is July 14. So what happened here, folks? Four days later, they notarized the document after they submitted the document. What happened? Did they notarize, did they submit the document and then they forgot? My beginning minute packet to more said on a Facebook page, oh but when I, is it not possible that we may have submitted the document and then we realized that it did not have notarized, that it was not notarized. And then we went, we withdrew the document and went and notarized it and brought it back. Mm -hmm. Then in another post, my begin to more made, he said, well, uh, you will not paying that dues, the CPP dues, so we now have money to do color printing. So we submitted the document in photo, photocopy. <laughs> in black and white. Oh yeah, that was my begin to more said. My begin to more said. So listen, you. So the document that come is filed, they submitted the document on July the 10th, 2.30 p.m. 2020. July 10, 2020, 2.30 p.m. The document was received by someone at the Elections Commission. Four days later on July 14, the notary certificate says July 14. So I'm gonna ask you people, oh, brother, open the phone lines. Let's ask our people what happened. Did they go back and withdraw the document to notarize it when they forgot or when they realized that it was not notarized? Is that what they did? Let's go to the phone. Then, Ellis Comis signed the document as they listed him as the political leader of the CPP. Mm -hmm. But Ellis Comis was never the political leader of CPP. Then, the chairman of ANC, Daniel Mete, signed the document as the chairman of CPP. But Daniel Mete was never chairman of CPP, Bwakai. Daniel Mete was and still is the chairman of ANC. The chairman of CPP at the time was Ellis Cummings. But Ellis Cummings presented himself <laughs> as the political leader of the CPP and Daniel Nathan as a chairman of this, the whole document is a fraud, Bwakai. Hmm. The entire document is a fraud. What happened, folks? Did they go back and withdraw the document? Fati Fambule, you want to explain to us what happened? You are an ANZ woman. Why does the notary certificate say July 14? The letter is dated. The cover letter, July 10, the document itself is May 19. Brother, listen to me. So it's May 19. So coming high, the document says May 19, June 19, that's one month. So Cummings kept the document for one month, two weeks before finally filing it. Is that it? Is that what happened? They kept the document for a month and two weeks. I want to ask people to tell us, Baka. Now they are so ashamed. And these documents were not provided by also. The Elections Commission provided these documents. The Elections Commission provided these documents to the Monrovia City Court. They requested these documents by a mandate of the court. Provide the documents that Alexander Cummings filed. They went and brought it. The cover letter says July 10. 2020 received by the neck staff 2 30 p.m. They what you might call it 
The notary certificate says July 14. So, okay. All right. Fatih, you ANC get. Let's talk, man. So, after you submitted a document, you forgot that it was not notarized. So, you went back to NEC, collected a document, and notarized it and carried it back. What guy? What can tell me? Maybe, maybe, maybe NEC was the one that notarized the document for them. Oh, okay, okay. So, they forgot the document was not notarized. Right? Mm -hmm. They want to read the document was not notarized and they call NEC. Hey, man, NEC, man. We beg you, man. Uh, can you please take our document we brought in the last time and go and notarize it for us? That's what happened? Mm -hmm. yeah, let's go to the phone and ask our people. Is that what happened? Fatih, you are not answering the question. Why does the notarized certificate carry a different date from the date the letter was presented? In fact, if the, if the document was notarized before, okay, it would make sense. If the notary said, said certificate says July 4th, July 5th, any date before July 14th, the date of the letter, it would make sense. But the notary certificate is four days after the document was filed. So did they go to NEC and request NEC to give them the document back? Or did they call NEC and ask their good friends at NEC to notarize the document for them? That's what I want to know, Baka. Let's go, let's go, let's go to the lines. Why can't please? Let's take some calls. Now people okay. tell us what did they do? Mr. Finger Ellis Cummings, what did you do? Now, this is a son of a swine who wants to deny United Party from feeding a candidate in Lover County. Ellis Cummings, a fraud, a criminal. You know what I call Ellis Cummings a criminal back then? Was it oh you call a good man criminal? The man is a dirty, nasty criminal. That's what he is. That is what Ellis Cummings is. Who submits a document on the 10th of July and then comes back four days later to, not to present the notary certificate that should have been attached with that document in the first place? How did that happen? How, how did that happen? Let the ANC people tell us. And this is Ellis Cummings who we all know carries an American passport, wants to deny the unity party of feeling a candidate in our election, when any he himself should not be participating in our elections on account of the fact that he is an American citizen? This is madness. Parker, will you please take some calls? We have the year to call us. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. It's 077 102 Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Baga. Welcome. Good morning, Baga. You are live. Welcome. Yeah, oh, yeah this is Scott Tapigi. And uh, leader, I just want to say this. There is no way Arizona uh, Kumi can, can, can stop a United Party from feeding a candidate in, 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 in the election. There's no way. Jamie already said it. He said that nobody can stop the United Party from, 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 from feeding a candidate. There's no way. They just they, 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 they do not to hear that word. There's no way. No way they can stop us, and they will not stop us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we'll take this person from the WhatsApp number. Good morning. You Today is a birthday. We wish you all the best. Well, I mean, I'm from My name is Frank Gibson. I call from Paris. Frank Gibson, welcome. Why, why did you know that the airport uh, manager Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Frank, why you make up uh, the new uh, yeah, before, airport manager? Before... Oh, yes, uh, I hope he, he will do well. Uh, that, was, that was a good, very good appointment. But I hope the appointment will not be like the agriculture minister. He but, can, but, when that later was appointed, we say, not, Hello, uh, Frank, 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 Frank. Frank? Yeah. You are saying it's a good appointment? Yeah, I'm listening, Bokai. I'm asking Actually, you. Actually, I'm not going to the I'm not going through the profile of that young man. Then, but why are you saying it's a good appointment when but you I, haven't gone I, through I, the I, I read up why, yeah, yeah. why why are you saying it's a good appointment when you haven't gone through yeah. the profile? You saw the profile. Yeah. yeah, but let, listen to me now, Bokai. I'm speaking now. <laughs> 
I saw that I saw that post from Julian Gay going through the young man's profile. I've not done it personally, but I saw that post from Julian Gay. He went through the young man profile. He's well informed. And I think he's coming to the job with a lot of experience. Frank, Frank, now, Frank, Frank. The profile the man on the executive mansion website is there. Now, when you do for yourself, go and do your research. And while all the posted there is a big black lie. It does not work for no problem. That's not actually the, the issue what I call for. I'm, I'm actually call on the contract issue with Arcelo Meta and, uh, and the Liberian government. Okay. Make it the right to choose what you want to speak to. Yeah. Thank you very much. Before going to that, I just want for Costa to confirm again whether it is true the legislature received 500000 for signature fee. I just wanted to, 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 to repeat that and confirm that. $500,000. $500,000 was received. Uh, thank you very much, Costa. Thank you for this confirmation. But Senator Dillon on OKFM the day before yesterday denied that he's not aware of any money to the legislature in the tune of 500000 for any signature fee. He, he said that on OKFM yesterday, the day before so, yesterday. Yeah, I was, was on that was, Hello, now, Frank, so, Frank, it was Speaker, Speaker Chimba that, 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 that received the money now. The money was given to the over to Senator Dillon. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no problem, no problem. Okay. On the issue of the of, on, on the issue of the concession agreement, <laughs> I know where Costa is going for you. Want, you know, I understand that there is a little bit of protection okay. here for Senator Delon. I understand that. I understand that. There is a little bit of protection here for Senator Delon. Go ahead, friend. We need to take on the call us. No. But they never gave Delon 500,000. The money was presented to Bobo Chambers. Yep. So uh now we take another person on this line. Good morning, welcome. Dr. Daniel Duncanley qualifies a good appointment. Good morning. The man is a business, he said he won't go money airport. Good morning, welcome. Your name are you calling us from? Okay, my name is uh Linford. I'm calling from Norway, and uh, I choose to speak on the on the Aslamito contract. Now, you know, I come from the maritime background uh with Specific education in state and port management. And when, when we sign a contract, let's say if a company is coming to Liberia to build a port or to operate our port, and they find out that certain part of this port is not good and they need to upgrade it or build part of it, we, we, we enter into certain contracts, and one of them is the BOO, capital B, B as O A B. A B. Operate, build, operate, and we. That means that country, that means that, that, that company can build it, that part of the port, they will operate it and they will own it for them. That's it sounds right. The BOOT, the boot, which is built, operate, owned, and turned over to, to the owners. So that company will build that port, they will own it, they will operate it, and then at the end of the day, they will turn it over to the country. Okay. Okay. So I, I don't know which, which uh, and I've noticed similar thing also applies within the railroad. So I mean, which of the kind of contracts that the accident letter enter, whether they will build the, the railroad and own it, or they will build it, the own it, and operate it, and then turn it over to like bring over. I think no, so no, no, two are All right. Them. Operate it, then they transfer it to us. They turn it over to us. Yes. It's the last one. They they uh that's what Asilometa entered with the government for 25 years, and they have nine years left on, on that agreement. And your government left the nine years in effect and sign a new agreement to allow a new company called HPX that does not have any asset in Liberia, and they just paid $500,000 in bribe to the legislature, which all the receipt through a company called Ivanhoe. The company is, pay, is, is right there on 9th Street, Sinkhole. Yeah. Half a million dollars to your lawmakers. That, but, 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 why why didn't the men of Horrell sign that deal? The deal was signed, we didn't even know. Did you hear about the deal until the deal was signed? We never heard about the deal. No. We, we, we just woke up one morning. The government of Liberia has entered into a deal with, with SPS for the rail, the, 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 the rail and the port. What? You signed a new deal for a rail and a port while the current deal says Asilo still have nine years left of exclusive control? Anyway, let's take some more calls. Baka, I want to know what happened to this CPP document. So, Baka, here is the point, right? Nick, do you think Nick should have accepted these documents that come as filed? No. With all these documents? No, no, no. The document says May 19. 
the cover letter says July 10th, the notary certificate says July 14th, and then the document is, is, is presented, is submitted in photocopies. Why should the net do this? Why did they accept these documents? They asked the next chairperson yesterday at the hearing, Boca, they asked her, Daddy Edward Brown Lansana, why did you, why are all these inconsistencies with these documents? She said, I can't speak to this matter because it's up at the Supreme Court. You know, the case on the neck now is up. The stupid complaint that comes that brought against uh, the ALP and the UP trying to stop UP from filling a candidate, that complaint is at the Supreme Court. You know that, right? So now, the other brother and Senator was saying, I can't speak to this issue because it's currently before the Supreme Court, and to do so would be prejudicing the case. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> Let's take some more calls then. That woman is a disgrace to her family, to the good name of her family, a disgrace. The other brother last, last summer. That's what she is. I'm told she's been taking money from Musa Billity and Ellis Cummings. That is why she did what she did. She left money business. No wonder she went and gave her brother the 182000 dollars contract to supply stupid thermometers that you can buy for 200 US dollars. That woman is a damn rogue. That's what she is. Let's take some calls there. You see her fair high jelly, jelly uh, uh, iron lock. <laughs> Let's take this person on the line. Good morning, welcome. Yeah, morning, Praga. I'm Shetra calling from Maryland. Uh, my question really go cool to Aaron Costa, right? I know he is a supporter of JMB. But my question is, he's great, he always against, or he criticizes, or he correct other people who give wrongs against GMB. But I've never wanted to see uh, her, I seem to be correct anyway. He criticizes Stanton Water Spoon, Spoon TV for some of the wrong information they gave against GMB. Why? Is it that he people who he left okay. anyway to talk against them when they talk against GMB or is hey, it or, yeah. Hey, man, I'm mm. no, not getting you, Costa. The man just told you, never once have we corrected or attempted to correct the spoon talk people. But besides that, we have a platform. Our job is not to be correcting what other platforms say. Our job is to be educating the platform, I mean, our listeners about what people say about my candidate. Because Barra is my candidate. My job is going to be responding to Spoon Talk. That's not my job. Spoon Talk got their platform to say what they want to say. They are friends of mine. I don't agree with what they say. On Monday, I'm told they went on a tirade against JMB, said all manners of things. You think my job is to say that I have to respond? Do you see I respond to other platform your brother? Is that what we do? Speak the truth. No. We don't do that. We are such a big and powerful platform. You think our job is to go sit down here with anybody talking about JMB or another platform that will respond to them? No. We respond to what people that come in and what the government people try to do to us, not to what other platforms say to my candidates. We're not going to do that. You understand me? We are not going to do that. We're not going to sit here to respond to what another platform says about JMB. We have a very powerful voice. We, 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 we defend and promote JMB. We don't need to respond to what people say about JMB on another platform. We will not do that. You understand me? We will never do that. So that platform can think that we are bothered by what they say. Eh? Every, every day when they talk about JMB, they will come respond. So they can think that we are bothered by what they say. No, we're not bothered by what they say. Because what they say will not influence people against JMB. I'm convinced. You can say whatever you want to say about JMB. The people know who JMB is, Bwagai. They know who Joseph Yuma Bwaga is. Oh, your, 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 your la la, you can make up and tell them about him. They will not believe it. They know JMB is not a crook. They know JMB is not a thief. They know J JMB is not dishonest. So whatever you say, you're wasting your time. So our job here is to say the positive things about JMB and what he will do for Liberia as president. Our job is not to respond to what other platforms say about JMB. Because no matter what they say about JMB, nobody will believe them. Because the people know who JMB is. 
You know what I said? So John Papa or Jamie. Oh, John, why you lie? Then I didn't be there. Oh, man, you lie. Oh, boy, you lie. No, we're not going to do that. We have a very powerful voice. We're the most powerful voice in the country. We are the only platform where we talk the whole country runs with it. You can be like, let me the news. Oh, today on the Costa show, they say, so, so, so. don't they pour on the news in Liberia every, every day, Waka? Every day. Every day. On the video from the, the plane, the process plane the other day. Who posted the video? And us? Yeah. And the whole country ran with a video. And the Nigerian guy took it from my page and all and, and did something on it. We break the news. We lead the, we control the narratives. Have you seen or take talking points from other platforms, black guy? Do we go to other platforms to take talking points from them who can't talk it yet? No. Well, but what way they can take their talking point from? They, they wait for what we discuss here before coming up with a topic. Whatever we discuss here or whoever we talk about here, they will make the person their guest. Yeah! If we, if we talk about somebody here today, that person will be their guest the next day. The whole week will bring the person as guest. Yeah, so y'all need that thing there. We can talk it before the other people then talk it. So y'all don't can say, we can't be following. We are leading no one can follow. When you start responding, Waka, you know what you're doing? Give you start responding, list. you are following. We don't follow, we lead. You be talking beyond us while we're moving. Anything we talk about, it becomes news. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you there, brother? Yeah, I'm back. Okay, you are back. Let's take some calls. All right, now take uh, somebody on this line. Good morning. Uh, PK Tamara, good morning, my dear brother. Sekatibo. Yes. I am Sekatibo Chilikan, the religious ambassador to the Costa Show, and I call from Tanazio this morning. Uh, little good morning there, all the way in the U.S. Morning, my dear brother. Morning. Thank you, Chief. Uh, what can, you know, look, little, let me say this. That's why some of us, there are, there, there are some connections when you are connected, you regret those connections. And there are some connections, you are proud to be connected. And I'm one of those to, who is very proud today to be recognized and known by Henry Pedro Costa as consistent as you are on your show. And uh, that's why many names have been given you. Some people refer to you as hero, some people refer to you as little. And I'm going to refer to you today as a prophet of the talk show. Because why? You once told us, you said, look, they came here as I see it many months ago. You said maybe they're going to subpoena the National Election Commission. Has they not happened? Mm. Let me say this. You see Mr. Kumis? Because he got bad motives. And poor Gamba, bad motives, they are judged by God himself. God is the judge. You want to fight yourself, Wakai? But I can say this, that all the hold that they are done, one guy is going to jump over those posts. And that's why Tony got the ever made a million state the paper break the defense. And you're going to pick all those defense. Let me say so, President We are. But who was there because you're my own traditional man. But let me say this. You know, you said something that was very sweet in the ears of people. Don't judge me by the elegance of my, of my speeches for my quality decision. You looking at the airport. The person you send there, my brothers, can you scoop on now this document? Even if you cannot do it, ask your man, my girl, to do it. Elizabeth Kumi say he's a book man. But let me ask you, Mr. Kumis, or Alex, to notarize something, which voice you are done first? Is someone to carry the neck before you go back for notarization or what? Okay. You know, let okay. me say something to Musa Blade too. Your man, the Lord, do hero. The Lord has, the Lord has nobody here to facilitate all what happened. Let me say this to you. And from that day, I went against the Lord. And I'm not going to have my feelings, though. As okay. what I said to you, there are other people you are allowed to deal with them on your show. But when it comes to other people, you say, no, you must have. Let us talk about it. All you right. are the right. Thank you. Thank you, so, thank you so much. Check out Tibo. Let's take somebody from this WhatsApp number. Good morning. Welcome. Your name. Uh, where are you calling us from? Good morning. Good morning, Boga, and good morning to Pedro. Uh, my name is Stephen Gorchard, and I call you from Delaware, Newcastle this morning. Go ahead, Stephen. Uh, let me let me let me commend you for a topic on discussion, but actually I 
when I, when, I, when I listened yesterday, when I saw on, on, on Facebook, you know, Darrington appointment, I got to shock. Darrington, what I'm going for to be a DJ. Darrington came on my, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 he came, he came to 2019. Yeah, I hired him you know, to, 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 do, to, do, to do a DJ for my baby shower. And actually, he can, that, 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 that's the era that I know that he don't off. He performed very, very well. He know the microphone and, and he know music. But for person, we are to stand up to look at me at Darling, Darlington. To, to, to appoint a managing director at, uh, for, 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 for airport is you know, quite disappointing. Yeah, but they come to your baby person, shower DJ for you. No, 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 no. We, we don't want to make a go. That man, that man know the microphone, bro. That man know music. Right here, right there. We can't, we can't have video, you know. Zero. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We need, brother, we need more, more of the Angel Carly's customers to call. Hey, clients. Who hire him for the business? Let more, let you call. Yeah, they're coming to your yeah, business, our DJ. Can you imagine, my brother? Your customer for y'all. They come to your customer. <laughs> Let's take somebody from the WhatsApp number. Good morning. Welcome. Talk about a man I'm manager the boy. Now, now talking loud. We come with that boy. Say somebody impersonating yeah. as your manager. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Somebody said the road boy already to find out. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm Carl Rishabo, and I call from the state of Pennsylvania. Um, I was, I that was uh, a nominee that was nominated to uh, R8 to be mm -hmm. the managing director. Look, uh, Heron Costa, I know you to be a very good researcher. Check on the guy. He has three DUR from the state of North North Carolina. He used to live in North Carolina before he could move to Pennsylvania. We all, I always used to see him to a sharp, the little sharp. She had an entertainment era. Then he used to exhibit and he drink a lot. There are a lot of people that get through the day. Let the Senate ask him, have you been convicted? Have you been arrested and been put to jail for DUI? Let he say, no, the records are there. This is America in North Carolina. That's how you left from North Carolina. He went to an aviation school. I think he got an AA degree there. Okay. But I got no how to lie. That guy lied a lot. He lied crazy. All right, so thank he, you so much. Now let's take another person. We have to uh, make way for a lot of people to call in. Good morning. Good morning, Parker. Good morning, Henry. I got just two points to post for this morning. I call from Minnesota. This is Peter C. So Jr. Um, my first point is uh, has to do with the court proceeding. And, and, and I kind of noticed there is a lot of tension at the court. Yeah, I believe the, the government and the police force or the justice administration should do all it gets to be on a protest those with down there. What we saw yesterday, uh, uh, people from different parties uh, kind of attacking one another if people uh, 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 you know, come out with something grave down there and riots going to be down there. It's got a protection for the Okay. It has to do with the upcoming uh, uh, by election. I mean, those are, we, we, we're looking at whether the United Party have set a, a, a put an injunction, injunction on the uh, 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 upcoming election. That's why I want to know whether Henry got information on that one. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's take some from this angle here quickly. Good morning. Welcome. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Baka. This is DJ Lumet. Uh, let me say good morning to Pedro. Welcome back, Pedro. Let me say thank you for the talking point. Look, Pedro. That identical appointment that was made at the airport for me and I think the my only my, my only experience point here is that people always come in and rhyme all year all year. Then in Coco King, they say oh she was the best. At the end of the day, every Coco gone. They happen to the passport director again, team here, you say that took our money at the end of the day, you gone. They happen to to, to be fan put, child go, child go left. All the American you bring in here, me and I agree when they are like you. But let it come with the family down here. And when we're working, we know that they will not run away from you. But any day we say we made a bond, that is the number one thing that we do. That is the reason. And the reason why that group commission, why they would draw that, that nobody knew when Darrell Dillon said we are the mayor, but the past four that I judge now, I know generally is carried. We are going to be here because we are asking because they are afraid of Dillon. They say Dillon is not working. But that this is the point that Dillon is making made them upset. And the next thing here is that that TPP document cost that. Me, I don't want for you to party to go draw that document. All the time we're talking, oh, Baka is scared to go to court. The ANC people, Baka is scared to go to court. Baka can't go to court, he's running away. Now Baka is going to court, he's saying, I'm going to court, saying that, oh, the men are for the good, they're not for the good. What do you want Baka to do? When we're going to go over that document, that will automatically come in. They will start.
and you say, and you say, like black people, everything you have done, let it go through it. So, go to the more withdraw the document and go set on your own. We're not set on okay. not document our own because these are the people that want to be president for us tomorrow. If he started poking them now, we're not taking for him, then he leaves them, he comes to the leader like black right. people, they will suffer us. So, thank all you. of us, I said, thank you. All the people that are coming for vetting here, let's vet the good chapter, even the chapter on our bully. Yeah, you ready to turn, man? Good morning, welcome. Yeah. Come on. My people are asking, what is a DUI? Uh, DUI means driving while uh, driving under influence or driving under intoxication. I, I think that means you're driving drunk or you 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 high. That's what DUI means. You're driving under the influence of something while you intoxicated. That's what DUI mean. Yeah, you child, you chapa while you are driving. That's what it means. You see, eh? driving under the influence when you charge. So you is 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 either D W I or D D U I. When you're when you're when you're D when when you're D W I, you're driving while intoxicated or impaired. A D U I, you're under influence. You charged, and you're driving. Is 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 illegal in this country? You can go to jail for it. Depending on the number of times you do it, and depending on the state that you are in, so we just need to educate our people who don't know because our people from our people from Liberia and other countries they don't know what that means yet. Well, so that's what it means. So DU, DUI is a serious thing in America. It's a serious thing, so you can't play fun with it. But that's the thing. So uh, Joe Braga has not testified as yet. Braga, you you know that right? He hasn't testified yet. No, no, he hasn't. Yeah, and it is, and the, and the reason is because uh, they're not ready for him. But he's been going there. He went there on Monday. He also went there on yesterday, and and but he has not testified yet, you know. But it, he will testify, and he will say what he knows. He will say everything that he knows about what Cummings did with the CPP document, how he. Finger the document and all the things. Joe Walker will say it all. I'm telling you, we're not gonna leave this thing with this deal. The government should give HPX the $10 million back. HPX has no interest in our country. They don't wanna do business in Liberia. They wanna have access to the rail. There's nothing wrong with them wanting to have access to the rail. But to bribe our government $10 million and bribe the legislature, I'm going to publish the receipt for the $500,000 that HPX, their parent company is called Ivanhoe. They paid that money. Their office is located on the 9th Street. I have the receipt. It was published some time ago in Front Page Africa. We have that same receipt. We're going to publish it so you see. This is, the, this is what we're talking about. 500,000 US dollars in bribe to the legislature and horridly under the cover of darkness, the HPX deal was signed to give them exclusive access. And brother, you know what they want? They're not even asking for use of rights. So they want exclusive access. Guess what? I've been trying to lay my hands on the HPX deal that was signed. I can't find it. <laughs> no, they're hiding it. The government hiding it. Yeah, when they said it's people having it. Yeah, they're hiding the agreement. They don't want us to see the agreement. But the point is, is, is this going to be good for the country? Yeah, if, so we get... if anybody, anybody can help out with the uh, agreement. We want to see the HPS agreement. And we are not talking about the merits or demerits of Asila Mita's operations in Liberia. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about our government illegally, criminally entering an agreement because of, 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 of kickback when that asset that they're, that, that, that they're trying to sign away to another company or contract away to another company is already controlled by one company or by another. It's, it's just crazy. It, 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 no. No, that is the point. And then, brother, if they were doing this for a company that wants to come invest billions in Liberia, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. But brother, HPS didn't want to do nothing in, in Liberia. They get the R-Rebo to bring the iron off on Guinea. 
and take it through and take it to the Bikana port. That is all HPS wants. HPS has no interest in, HPS will not hire one single Liberian citizen. Other than, you see the Ivanhoe, the office they got in Liberia, you know why they established the office there? So that that office will be the one to control the rail. HPS does not have any interest in Liberia. They only want access and control of our rail and our port. Which, by, by the way, who built the port? Who, who rehabilitated the rail? Who rebuilt the port? They were not around when it was being rehabilitated, when it was being built. Thank you so much. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll continue to do what, what we do. So the ANC people, I want to say this to you. Hmm? I want to say this to you. Alice Cummings is done. All that your conversation you're carrying around, oh, Cummings won't offer something to Joe Bwagai so he can be number two to Joe Bwagai that the day I will withdraw from Joseph Bwagai. Let me get tell you, Bwagai, I want you to hear me, oh. Big A. The day yeah. Joe, the day Joe Bwagai called me and said, Henry, let's go with Cummings, let him be my vice president. And the day I will tell Joe Bwagai, say, I'm gone. But, 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 but Costa, um, George, we are call you and you guys iron things out. So, the day Mr. Cummings on the ticket, I the cannot. Day, the day Mr. Cummings call you, the same way and say, Oh, let's work out things. Cummings, it's, it's, it's about principle, it's not just about who you want. It's about the way other people do their politics. Oh, maybe the man call you, he offer you a good deal, then you go. You say, No, Cummings is a bad guy. How can I say all these things that I know about Cummings? All these things that we've exposed about Cummings? How can I turn around to my guy and say, "Boy, I got yellow less of Cummings." Don't respect me, my begin. I will never do that. The day Joe Boga tell me say he and Cummings come and be on one ticket, let me tell you now, boy. Right now, there is a group of ANC people. They are going around now trying to reach to Joe Boga so they can offer a deal to make Cummings VP. Talk, talking about Boga, I'm only stay two, three years there and step down so Cummings can take over. The day they can't tell me that nonsense. That the day I wanna I'm not bothering by the other people who pass it around. The other people who pass it around talking about you. But if Joe Bwaga himself call me and tell me say that what you want to do to work with comics, I will get there and say, Papa, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm finished. I tell with you. Let somebody bring it to me and tell me say comics and Bwaga will be on the seat again. I'm gone. Is there, is there something is there somebody in your mind already to run as vice to JMB? I got nobody in your mind, but there are a lot of other good candidates. JMB can choose them, but not not Cummings. <laughs> that not Cummings, oh. Cummings is a bad guy. First of all, we don't even trust Cummings. That Cummings will not try to harm Joseph Walker. That's how desperate Cummings is for power. To, desperate to the point that he, he will take a FIFA criminal. All day comes a preaching about integrity, integrity, integrity. Then you take a criminal and Musa Billete, and you even sign an agreement with Billete to make him your running mate. What does that tell you about Ellis Cummings? Hmm. That you finger a, a, an agreement, you finger a document, and all just to cheat your friends. The day they can't tell me that nonsense, the day I go. You want to say anything about me? Like your business. Me support Bwaga and Cummings on one ticket. While lying, it will never happen. Fear for abomination. Never. <laughs> so, you know, I know some of your people that pass around. Oh, yeah, you know, and the men, the men can bring money. Cummings can bring the money. And you know, the baby not get the money. We will raise the money. JMB not get money. Everybody knows that one that we will raise the money. But to say Cummings and Boga on one ticket, that the day I was start campaigning against them, right that day, that the same day, I was start campaigning against them. Y'all, y'all acting like y'all know me. My hair not paying nobody more. I don't live with nobody. JMB not doing nothing for me. Not, not, nothing. I'm supporting him because of Liberia, because he's a good man, because he will make a good leader. But to work with a crook like Cummings, Jesus Christ, the man submit document May 19. He tear signature paid for him. So. Bwaka, that kind of man as president, imagine what that kind of man will do, Bwaka. Bwaka, imagine what that kind of man will do. That kind of man as president, he will be fingering document left and right, doing this and doing that. It will never happen. Thank you so much, folks. God bless you. We'll be back here tomorrow.